powerful tools you have with your New Line Interactive Flat Panel are annotation tools. That's going to allow you to write on top of your screen, no matter what you have going on on top of your screen. So I'm just going to bring up as an example, our Chrome web browser. And in this Chrome web browser, I happen to have the New Line Interactive teacher training resources pulled up for you. So it's super easy for you to find and get different resources and ideas of how you can use this in your classroom. To use those annotation tools, expand your side menu, Tap on that third button down, the piece of paper with a pencil. You're gonna notice a little red X is going to pop up on top of that icon, and then they're going to be writing tools at the bottom. You can go ahead and start writing, and you can see right on top of the screen, my writing appears. Then, if I keep going, sometimes I'm gonna get these little things called action hints. These are going to give you some clues of what you can do with your annotation tools. When I'm done writing with my annotation tools, all I have to do is tap that piece of paper with a pencil. And you're gonna notice by default, it takes a screenshot. Where on earth do those screenshots go? I'm so glad you asked. They go to your files folder. I don't see a files folder. That's all right. Remember, all we have to do to find every single app that we have is just scroll up from the bottom. And these are all in alphabetical order. So there's files. So when I tap on files, now where do I go? Oh, it was the last thing I did. Check your recents. So here's my recents and there are my screenshots. So there you go. So these screenshots will stay right here in this recents folder for up to 30 days. After 30 days, they're going to automatically delete themselves. Don't worry, if you actually do want to save something, you can always tap on it, and then you can decide that you're going to shift it to your drive or wherever else you'd like to put it. Going back to those annotation tools. So if I tap on my home button, head back home, and let's go back to Chrome. In those annotation tools, a couple of things that I like to do for changes for me and play around with however you like is take a look at this bottom corner. Where this bottom corner is, is you're going to see another gear tool. That gear tool is going to give you your annotation options. The ones I like, I don't like to just write with a fine pen. I like writing with fine pen or fingers, especially if I'm going to use it with a large group of students. I like to turn off those action hints and I like to have more control over my screenshots, so I like to turn off those auto screenshots. I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to screenshot those things later anyway. But once you have done that, your panel, she's Amelia Bedelia. She's going to do exactly what you tell her to do. She knows the difference between a thin point, like my stylus, a thick point, like the other end of my stylus, or my finger. It's going to, by default, be a highlighter, and then your flat palm, or the back of your hand is your eraser. Just swipe through and it erases. Your tools down at the bottom. Pro tip, I like to change the thickness of my pen because I kind of don't like my handwriting in the super thin one. So if you change up the thickness a little bit, as you are writing, it will be much smoother. A lot more like those Expo markers that we all love so much, right? So Thicken that up a little bit. Same thing with your highlighter. Why have it be the same thickness as your pen when you can have it be nice and thick instead? That makes things so much easier. So now, what if I do want to take a screenshot and I've turned off those auto screenshots? Now what? Let's take a look down here and you're going to see a little camera icon with little dashies going around it. When you tap on that, you're going to be able to take a screenshot and just like on your phone or any other tablet that you have, you can pull in those corners to only include the portion of the screen you actually want to take a picture of. If you tap and you don't like how you did that, you can always tap and increase the size back to its original size, shrink it back down. Then you have other options, like you can bring in this screenshot into your whiteboard and continue teaching on the same lesson, or if you need it, to email it to absent students or to put it on your LMS, tap the download arrow. The first time you tap that download arrow, you might be greeted with a, ooh, would you like to allow things? Just allow all the things, you can't hurt it, I promise. And now 
I have options where my screenshot's going to be saved. If I know I want to put it on my LMS right away, maybe I want to save it to my Google Drive and not save it to the panel. There are other apps you can download, like you can download Google Classroom, you can download Canvas, and you can share them right from there too. Hope this helps.